them get in the presence of God unless they go into his house. Mm. And the house was torn down and run. And they wanted it back together. That's, I'm just giving some sketches. And then God seen that. When God looked out there and see something that you're trying to do to, to get people to him, he can hit them. Mm. Amen. All right, we're moving on. Thank God. We're, we're trying to scrape it through this Old Testament. <laughs> the foundation temple had been, from our topic, the first paragraph on page 48, the foundation of the temple had been laid during the reign of Cyrus, but apparently nothing more was done until the second year of the king reign of Cyrus. Ever emphasized that eternal obsessions emphasize my um, script that again. Sister, can you see that good? Read that for me. That first paragraph. The foundation of the temple had been laid during the reign of Cyrus. Mm -hmm. But apparently nothing more was being done until the second year of the reign of Darius. As we emphasize it, external opposition as a cause for this delay. But from the book of Haggai, we also learned that the Jews themselves had been lax in completing the work, placing their own interests first. As a result, God has brought a famine that drained their resources. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you. And I looked up Ezra. Ezra, Ezra was a scribe. Mm -hmm. and otherwise, he was sort of like a writer. Mm -hmm. and, and let people know what God wants. And when people get a hold of what they hear, what God wants done, and what. And especially the ones that even in our Bible said they had separated themselves from the heathen. Yes. They were ready and wants to serve God. Mm -hmm. And once I know how to serve God, I'm all, in the words, a whole heart, Paul, and into it. I'm going to, in every sketch I get, I'm ready to go and run for it. Mm -hmm. Because I'm getting some information how to do this thing. Yeah. And Ezra was a man that bringing the information to me. And on down it said, this, that the uh, third one, crap, paragraph system, the third one from the Bible, before you read. Darius did make a decree of his own, commanding his regional officials to desist from hindering the project. Mm -hmm. He also ordered them to use tax money to provide not only building materials, but also supplies for the sacrifices. He even decreed a capital penalty for offering his decree in hindering the work. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. See, this was key to doing this. And, yeah. and my understanding, they, they weren't a servant of God. Mm. Amen. They, to my understanding, they they were want to help God people to get this done. And uh, don't come in here and mess with these people and when they work. And and that one portion back in before we got up to this lesson today, mm -hmm. I read that they started the bill in the house. Mm. And some people come in now, let us help you. Yeah, that's right. Do you see mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. Come in now and want to help God people. And, and somehow or another, they, those people weren't supposed to be in there messing with God. That's people. right. Amen. Sometimes the enemy comes to help you. He Ooh. wants to mess up something. Mm -hmm. Ooh, no. To overthrow God's work, to turn God, or detour God's work. Mm -hmm. They didn't allow it. My God. Amen. This is a beautiful lesson. Anybody has to talk on this lesson? Beautiful lesson. The service of godly leaders. Mm -hmm. Godly leaders now, we're talking about godly leaders, godly leaders now, not, not that little something I conjure up because I heard somebody <coughs> say what you needed over here and I'm going to go over there and help you for a little bit of time and say, God told me to do it and, mm. and I'm going to look in there and see what's in it for me. <laughs> but godly leaders ain't out like that. Mm. Godly leaders ain't out there to see what's in it for me. God let me use that to help because that's a work of God and I'm a child of God. I want to get see his purpose done. To get the work done and go in and help me. 
Anybody? Oh yeah, back, I don't know what chapter and verse it is, but when they began to work on the temple, some people come up and said, let us help you mm -hmm. to build this house. Uh -huh. But they didn't, they didn't allow it. Amen. You may ask the other run. He he well quick on the Old on the Old Testament. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. I can't. But it's in the, it's leading up. We starting in the sixth chapter. Here. Yes. Yes. But that's the young, big before I, you get there. I just want to write down how you said that. Mm. Oh, I don't. I don't yes. know how to say it. Yeah, that was power. All right. All right. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our topic today God
things that I know mankind mm -hmm. couldn't do. Mm -hmm. And so you give God the praise. Yes. Mm -hmm. the praise of the Lord. And this is what these people did. They, mm -hmm. they recognized what God did. What did they do? Like we do. Mm -hmm. uh, when we come to fellowship with God, we give Him the praise. Mm -hmm. And as we give Him the praise, you know the joy of the Lord comes in. Yes. And yes. we just magnify yes. and give Him thanks. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. they, and okay, and uh, and so they, you know, gave, uh, became joyful of what God has done. Mm -hmm. And in fact, I saw this. I like this. Proverbs 16 and 7, it said, when a man ways please the Lord, mm -hmm. he maketh his enemy to be at peace with yes. him. Mm -hmm. So this is what happened in yes. our lesson yes. today. The God of people, they please God, mm -hmm. and then God bless them by me. Mm -hmm. And then after all of this was done, they had a great celebration. Mm -hmm. You know, the uh, celebration. Uh Yes. They went in there, they, they, well, my mom, you say you're hard-headed. 
people, and you won't listen to what the people will tell. And they got in that. They rebel. You know, Israel was. I don't know. God called them a stiff neck. Stiff neck. A hard headed people. God mm -hmm. used a name for those people because they were rebellious. Yeah. They'll do right for a while, then after a while they start doing all different from what they were instructed to do. Mm. Now they went on and Nebuchadnezzar came in and got them this time and they were in captivity for seventy years. Mm. Now that's a long time to be in bondage. Long mm. time there, yeah, otherwise they go to prison mm -hmm. for something. But now the people that in there, the, they they don't separated themselves. Otherwise, they, they got some glimpse or some inputs or something about God, and they separated themselves. Otherwise, they ain't gonna do what you're doing. I ain't gonna listen to what you got to say because what you got to say ain't gonna do nothing but get me in more trouble. Mm. Now, otherwise, they separated themselves and. Because they done heard and, and heard something about God. And God seen that. And as I said a while ago, they had separated themselves as one person. Mm. They showed themselves that oh, I'm thinking the same thing as the hunt thing. I don't care what you think thinking. We're trying to think on how to get out of this mess. We're thinking on how to serve God in holiness. And God see that as a oneness. He's going to do something about it. The way I'm looking at it, God's going to fix that. He's going to make it easy for you to do because you focus on Him. When you get focused even when you're traveling, I can put this out there and you can understand what I'm talking about. If mm. you're traveling on the highway, it used to be called 6 to 6 out here. Mm -hmm. and now it's in the state 44. We all know that, but... If you travel and if you focus on getting to a destination, you got to stay focused on how you travel and where you where you going. Mm -hmm. Is that right? No, mm -hmm. you can't get to towards somebody coming along. And say, hey man, you 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 trying to get to Oklahoma City? You need to go around on 64 Highway. You can't go to Oklahoma City on right. In <laughs> get you detour right. and go way down here on Interstate 64, and you you ain't gonna head no way close to Oklahoma City. Mm -hmm. But when your mind and you focus on where you're trying to get to, yes. you're going to stay. Otherwise, we don't focus on getting to heaven. We got to stay focused on what God yes. is saying in the Word. Amen. How to mm. get there. In other words, when, when I get up to a bridge where it's at, you got to pull off that jacket. Mm. <laughs> I need to say, Lord, let me pull it off. Yes. <laughs> I don't need to go to bagging up trying to find a way to get around it. Mm -hmm. And this is what happened to the church world. Right. When they get to a bridge, they find in every kind of sketch and every kind of route to get around mm -hmm. what God said you need to do yes. to get there. Mm -hmm. And they're still going around in circles. Yes. Anybody else has a thought? Beautiful lesson. Yeah. Yes. I was thinking about it's uh, uh, many uh, leaders. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God. I guess in the United States we have uh, um, lots of leaders mm -hmm. uh, in the government, in the White House, and all of that. Mm -hmm. But they are not godly uh, leaders. Amen. Amen. And uh, they are over the people, yes. but they are not godly. Amen. Mm. Uh, praise God. Uh, they bring the hardship yes. uh, uh, on people. Yes. But we are talking about godly leaders. Yes. yes. And these leaders are the one that love God yes. and want to do His will. Yes. And uh, they are not uh, are a selfish type of, mm -hmm. uh, of people. No. They are uh, people to get God's work, His yeah. program over. Yes, uh, and and uh, 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 to help uh, to help people. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, praise God. And I was thinking about uh, uh, the Jews uh, was in captivity mm -hmm. because of sin. Yes. yes. Sin is the cause of it all. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, cause of why they was in bondage. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God. 
but uh, after they was um, set uh, free, uh, praise God, and they wanted to build, uh, build rebuild the temple, mm -hmm. and they started. Oh yes. They started. They laid the foundation. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was reading here about saying Samaritan people. Well. Uh, that's, I mean, unsaved people mm -hmm. uh, was talking about and everything. They stopped that program there mm -hmm. for 16 long years. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God. And God touched the heart of, of uh, King Cyrus. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, um, King Cyrus uh, made a decree to finance everything that they need uh, building oh, God's yeah. house. Mm -hmm. And you know God had to touch his heart. Yes. Because the Bible said every good and perfect perfect gift come from above. From above. And praise God. If anybody do any good, it's because of God. Amen. Yes. God touched their heart to do it. That's he right. didn't do it because he wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. He did it because God had touched his heart for him to do it. Yes. Praise God. This was, and uh, he wasn't saved. This mm -hmm. was to build God's program. Yes. To help God's people. Yes. See, in this day and time, mm -hmm. if God's people uh, uh, leave us <coughs> living according to what God's word said, mm -hmm. He would touch the heart of these uh, sinners out there with all this money. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Praise God. All mm -hmm. of this money and everything, mm -hmm. and bring it uh, uh, to the foot yeah. uh, to to build up God's kingdom. Yes, yes. Praise yes. God. Yes. Glory to God. Don't think that these uh, uh, people out there don't have a lot of money. Come on. Mm -hmm. Sinner, oh, my Ooh, God. Yeah, Ungodly, but. but uh, God will use it for His benefit. Yes. Yes. Praise yes. God. Glory <laughs> to God. Uh, and and uh, to touch the hearts of, of, of a, a sinner person. Yes. You know, God can just use one sinner person. Yes. Mm -hmm. Praise God with a whole lot of money mm -hmm. and, and to help build yes. His kingdom up yes, for yes. His glory. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. And... and uh, uh, it, it, God can do whatever He wants to do. Yes, mm -hmm. and God yes. can use who, whomever He wants yes. to use. Yes. Praise God. Glory That's to right. God. Mm -hmm. And He's talking about uh, uh, a godly leader. Yes. A godly yes. leader would not marry a homosexual. All right. <laughs> Praise God. Glory to God. A godly leader. You hear what I'm saying? Amen. A godly leader Amen. would not. Why? Because he knows that's abomination yes, in God's yes, sight. Yes. Praise God. He would not uh, do that. Mm -hmm. Now, people that are doing that, they are not godly leaders. No, they're not. They are uh, leaders, mm -hmm. but they're they sure are not godly leaders. Not godly. Praise God. <laughs> godly leaders don't uh, 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 lead you into nothing wrong. That's you know, right. Praise God. They lead you into everything. No, it is about God, God to mm -hmm. build up God's Come on. Yes. What God, What God needs to be. Uh, God, the things that need to be done to build God's kingdom. Yes. Praise Come on, God. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. And so, so uh, uh, we need more uh, godly leaders. Yes. Uh, praise God. Ooh, glory to God. God. Mm -hmm. And and uh, uh, if if our people was what they say they are, mm -hmm. praise God. Uh, this church world would be a lot better than yes. what it is. Mm -hmm. People are talking, but they are not living what they're talking about. Oh Praise God, we have to be examples yes, of what we're we talking do. about. Mm -hmm. Praise God, mm -hmm. glory to uh, God. Right. Many people are uh, wearing the name, yes. but they are not uh, 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 doing on. the work. Oh Praise God, glory to God. And so, so uh, God uh, is uh, looking uh, for Godly people, not mm -hmm. only godly leaders, but godly people. Yes. Praise God. Yes. To help. Yes. Praise mm -hmm. God. You know, if you are godly people, a lay people, you're going to push the leader, mm -hmm. uh, praise God, to help them yes. to carry on what God has put in their heart yes. uh, to be done yes. to build His kingdom. Amen. Mm -hmm. Work as one. Mm -hmm. Praise God. To help yes. build His kingdom. Because it's not about us, no. what we like or what we want. Right. It's all about God. Amen. Because if we want to go to His heaven, mm -hmm. we're gonna have to do it like He wanted to. That's right. Not yeah. like we we Amen. want to do. Yeah, I'm going to heaven. 
Mm -hmm. uh, uh, if you're not doing it the way he wants you to do it, you're not Come getting on. his help. Mm -hmm. You better build your help. Glory to God. Amen. Because you're not getting that's in his. Glory right. to God. And, and uh, God is a godly God. Yes. And, and, and uh, he's holy. Mm -hmm. And uh, clean. Yes. Praise, uh, glory Praise to God. Glory to God. And so so that's what uh, uh, Thank you, uh, uh, after the, the children of Israel uh, cleaned up themselves mm -hmm. and made up their mind, mm -hmm. praise God, to do God's will. Mm -hmm. Then the work started again. Yes. Praise uh -huh. God. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. See, uh, I was uh, uh, thinking about Noah mm -hmm. when God told him about building the ark. Mm -hmm. He did what God right. told him to do. Right. Yes. Right. Him. Yes. But it always somebody comes to try to end it. Mm -hmm. And they are talking. Look at that old man. Mm -hmm. Sitting up there talking about building an ark and it never happened. Right? Right. Never. That's right. the truth. Praise the God. Is. Just just laughing, meddling, and mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. just doing all kind of things. Yes. But Moses just kept building. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, okay. Lord was kept building that ark uh -huh. because he knew what God had told him to do. That's yeah. right. Praise God. We, when God tell us to do something, no matter who say uh, this, do it this mm -hmm. way or that way, we have to do it God's way. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. A lot of times, uh, I heard all the people said, uh, don't nothing run a duck, but it's me. Mm -hmm. And don't nothing run a human, but it's mine. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Talk things that right. don't need to be talked. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, God tell you something, it's for you to keep right there. Yeah. Praise God. It, at a set appointed time yeah, is when you uh, speak of it. Yeah. Praise God. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I remember uh, uh, my uh, husband was saying that uh, uh, he had believed that God called him into ministry. Mm -hmm. And when he uh, he told the, uh, the leaders there, the pastor there, they said he must have Ate a lot of beans or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sleep on a, a, a full stomach yeah. and dream that. Yes. See, see now, he should have uh, 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 prayed and that God gave yeah, him yeah. the true answer that yes. this is what he wanted. Yeah. But he 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 stepped ahead of himself and was telling me, yes. praise God, glory to God. Nothing. And sometimes we have to know. Uh, uh, know the truth, right? And the truth will make us free, oh, but we yeah. have to get it from God. That's right. Right. God yes. is true. He mm -hmm. said, "Let man be a liar, mm -hmm. but me true." Right. Yes. And praise God, That's glory true. to God. Mm -hmm. And God have godly leaders that you can go to, yes. and uh, they can help you. Mm -hmm. Praise God in right. situations and things. Amen. Uh, praise God, but you better know who to go to. Yes. Mm -hmm. Better know who to go to because you may. Be in a worse effect by going to them yeah. than you were uh, before you went there. Yes. Praise Lord. God, glory God. to God. Mm -hmm. And so, so we uh, uh, we are talking about godly, mm -hmm. godly people. Mm -hmm. Praise God, godly people. Mm -hmm. One that uh, after God's own heart, yes. they have a heart for God, mm -hmm. and they have a heart for people. Mm -hmm. Praise God. You can't serve God no more than you can serve people. Amen. Praise God. You, 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 you have to serve people to get to God. Yes. yes. Praise God. That's glory right. to God. Yes. It's all right. about people. Yes. Yes. Okay. Praise God. Glory to God. Uh -huh. God loves uh, people, so he'll take, take if it's a million people out there, and, and one person is uh, trying to destroy something, mm -hmm. God will remove him mm -hmm. so his people can go on. Yes. Amen. Praise That's God. Right. Glory to Amen. God. And so so God is that kind of a God. We don't understand all this way, uh -huh. yes. where, way he does things, uh -huh. but it is for our good. That's mm -hmm. right. It is for our good. Whatever way he does it, mm -hmm. it is for our good. Mm -hmm. And we have to accept what he does, and and, and uh, if he tell us to do something, we have to say, Lord, uh, help me to yeah. do it. Help me. We have to yeah. ask him to help us to do yes. it, because flesh is not going to want to be obedient. Mm. Flesh is not going to want to obey. That's true. Praise God. God, glory to God. But when you ask God to help you to yep. do it, God, God will give you the grace to do mm -hmm. what needs to be done. Yeah. He'll give you that Amen. grace. Amen. Praise God to do what needs to be yes. done because he's looking at your heart. Mm -hmm. 
grace. Knowing that you want to do that. Amen. Praise God. And he'll give you the grace to do it. Amen. Praise God. Glory to God. Thank you. And, and uh, I, I love this subject here. Mm -hmm. Godly. Uh, service of Godly yes. leaders. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God. Glory to God. And then sometimes sometime, uh, our, our people uh, want to uh, give leaders money mm -hmm. to look over their faults. Mm -hmm. oh, their faults. Look over their faults and, and things yeah. and, and, and all. Yeah. You, you know, uh, give them gifts or whatever. Mm -hmm. You don't receive those kind of gifts. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Because our, God is our source. Oh, yeah. And God will take care of us. Yes. And we are not to low ourselves to man's way of doing things. Amen. Praise God. We are to do uh, things God's way. Yes. Praise yes. God. And God will send the right thing the right at the right time. Yes, he will. Praise God. To get his program open. Yes. Praise yes. God. Glory to God. And we just uh, wait on him. Yes. Wait on the Lord. Amen. I remember when I was a, a young girl mm -hmm. and uh, uh, came to church. People, when they came to church, they fell down on their knees. Yes. And they cried out to God. Uh -huh. What way God wants service to go? Right, right. They want to do it God's way. God's way. What way God want His service to go? Mm -hmm. And and they prayed and everything. Mm -hmm. And after that, they they uh, uh, sing praises to the Lord, mm -hmm. and God had touched the heart of someone. Yes. And uh, they know what what God, God what God mm -hmm. wants. And people were falling out. Mm -hmm. At the door, a lot of times when they walk in, yes. praise God. Drunk people fell out at the door. Yes. Praise God. Was up uh, sober. Right. Yeah. Praise right. God. Right. God did that. Yes. Praise God. When you're doing it God's, God's way, way. this yeah. talking about godly people. Yes. When yes. you're doing it God's way, mm -hmm. not man's way. Mm -hmm. right. Man, right. a lot of times carry on all kinds of programs. Mm -hmm. Praise God. But is it God's program? Amen. Praise God. We have to do. Uh, 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 care on the program the way God wanted to to yes. go, yeah. and it it would bless the people. Mm -hmm. Right, praise God. Right. People would be blessed. You when you yeah. see uh, blessing going on, mm -hmm. things are done God's way. God's because God is not in any mess. Praise God. Glory to God. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Yes. No, he's not. He's the peace. You mentioned a while ago when people, uh, some way or another, be afraid about the better building or heaven to go to. But yeah. Jesus said he was the door. Mm. And if we come any other way than the way of his leadership or the way his word said, we ain't going to get in no way. Mm. Because Amen. he's the door. Before we call Ella Rodney, I want you to look with me on page 55, bottom left-hand corner up to the top right-hand corner. It said, the temple was God's special dwelling place. This is why they want this house built, because this is where they know God will it. This is one of the reasons I guessed on you that, that when you're in your home, you know where you meet God. I know where I meet God in my house. I might have a closet I go in when I want to talk to God, pour out my heart to God. When we live in Tulsa, I have my chimney. And, and this sounds crazy to some people, but I tell you, everywhere I go, when I get the opportunity, I say, my chimney. <coughs> On the outside of my house was where I met God. They looked at me, I said, No, oh, I went there every time I had some problems. I don't mm. care how it rained it, how cold it was. I got in the chimney. When we lived in Gipperty, I went around in, in the chimney corner. Mm. And I could feel the presence of God so present upon me. I could pour out my heart to God. And talk to him no matter if it was snowing. I'd stay in the snow and my clothes would get snowing. And I, I didn't care. I didn't get cold. I was speaking with God because that was the place that I met God with. Amen. 
Some folk, how come you didn't meet him in your house? Big old house like that. No, this is the place for a dedicated one we have the house built. I'm dedicated. I put my hands on the children. This is where I want to meet God. And no matter when it rain, cold, sleet, or snow, I met God in that chimney outside yes. my house. Well, look with me again. The temple was God's special dwelling place, and they, uh, and the only place they were permitted to officially worship Him, because of the significant role of His this building. God had given particular specifications for the temple. These were meant to give people a glimpse of his glory. So I went, mean, they, they could be, get a glimpse of, we come in the house of God, and we didn't come in, we don't come in here and look around, see what's going on, who come in church. We want to get in here and get a glimpse of God's glory. I, I want to press in more. Why? Because I, I heard something today that won't give me an option there put back my plate more or whatever to pull out something that I need to do because I want to press into God. Amen. This is a place where we need God. Right. We come in here to hear something to get us closer to God. And then otherwise they say, Lord, all of this to say that without the temple, the Israelites could not properly worship God. Mm. Mm -hmm. They could not properly Worship God. Amen. We you know that they don't have to go to the temple anymore. Jesus and Matthew Roman said that you don't have to go to the mountains no more than the mm. All this is before Jesus came. Mm. Amen. Amen. So they had a dedicated place. This is why the people got together in oneness and purpose. We're going to separate ourselves from these heathens. We ain't going to do what these heathens done because we want to press in and do what God wants to do. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Ella Rodney. Yes, sir. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Thank the Lord for you, son. Amen. Bless you. this morning. Thank you. Appreciate you, son. Bless you, mother. Morning, everybody. Morning. 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 We got a hand praise for Pastor Dad and Mom. Amazing Sunday school teacher. Excellent, All right. What's the name of our lesson? Service of Godly Leaders. Yes. Lesson text is Ezra's. Chapter 6, verses 13 through 22. Mm -hmm. Adam on Brian has already taught the lesson. My assignment is to review the scriptures of the lesson. The mm -hmm. Bibles. I'm going to give a little context. Because mm -hmm. this is the only lesson in this book. Mm -hmm. and, uh, all right, so... Um, so after some of the northern kingdom of Israel, we're talking about when they came back from Babylon, right? Yes. So after some of the northern kingdom of Israel were taken by the Assyrians into captivity, Jeremiah prophesied that Nebuchadnezzar, Jeremiah called God's servant, mm -hmm. would take the remaining southern called Judah into captivity mm -hmm. because of their disobedience as a people. Yes. Right? Judah would be in captivity in Babylon for how long? Seventy years. Seventy years. Mm -hmm. well, this Judah was the southern kingdom. Mm -hmm. right? This was the southern kingdom. They were at twelve kingdoms, uh, twelve tribes. Mm -hmm. Ten of the twelve were already taken by the Assyrians, right? Yes. A lot of them. So these were the last two, which was Judah and Benjamin, which made up the southern kingdom called Judah. Yes. And there's some priests there uh, for the temple. Work. So this is what we're talking about. Israel, so the northern kingdom was already gone, so Judah was there. Mm -hmm. Some of the some of the northern kingdom were in Judah, but 
Okay, so the book of Ezra, the book of Ezra, the ready or skillful scribe, as the Bible says, mm -hmm. that Brian was kind of alluding to, that we are in this week, picks up after Judah is released from captivity. Yes. Back to Jerusalem, right? Yes. Okay, and I have a note here. 2 Kings 24, 10 through 16 states that Nebuchadnezzar only brought the noble and mighty mm -hmm. to Babylon. Mm -hmm. He left the poor in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. All of them were taken, only the more, only the noble and mighty. That's 2 Kings 21, 10 through 16. That's just, just a note. Yeah. So, so when the returning captives returned to Jerusalem, of course the city was ruined. But as it recorded, that they began to rebuild, to rebuild what? As it recorded, that they were to begin to rebuild what? The temple. The temple. Mm -hmm. Who had originally built this temple? What king? Uh, Solomon. 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 They call Solomon's temple. Yes. Ezra chapter two gives a list of the captives which returned to Jerusalem. Um, and as noted in chapter 2, verses 59 and verse 62, Israel kept strict records on family genealogy. Mm -hmm. It had to be a blood pedigree or ancestry to Israel or you were not Israel. Mm -hmm. This is really note. You being a nation as a foreigner, but there was no confusion about who was in the family of Israel, right, or in the children of Israel. Clarifying that Israel was not Israel was not signifying a race in the Bible, and I always make that clear because of the images that we see on TV, and it just gets real confusing. Yes. But in the Bible, Israel were descendants of Jacob. Yes. Hebrews were descendants. <laughs> of Abraham, it was not a way of the family. Right. So, and they had strict, strict genealogy records. Ezra and Nehemiah makes that clear. Strict mm -hmm. genealogy records. So it was all about pedigree, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. God made a seek, God made a promise to Abraham and his descendants. Mm -hmm. so, so Israel was a family. The family plus foreigners would make up the congregation, but the reference to Israel was primarily referencing referencing the promised pedigree of bloodline. Mm -hmm. Only the truth will make us free. So Ezra 262 states that the ones who could not be reckoned by documented pedigree were as what? Polluted. Polluted, defiled, or unclean. Mm -hmm. They had to be documented. They had to be in the genealogy. Then they kept records, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> these and these Undocumented returnees were put from what? The priesthood. The priesthood. Mm -hmm. Okay, chapter 3, verse 2, we're moving right along. Says, then who stood up? Chapter 3, verse 2. Yes. Yeshua. Now this is Joshua, the same as Jesus or Yeshua, mm -hmm. right? Yeshua was Jesus' Greek Hebrew name. Mm -hmm. Hebrew and Greek had no J. So it's the same name, Joshua, Yeshua. This is why they said Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. A lot of people named Joshua or Yeshua. Mm -hmm. It means to save, right? So Jesus or Yeshua Hamashiach, which meant Jesus the Christ or the Messiah. Mm -hmm. so that's why we said Jesus Christ, right? And in the book of Hebrews, there's a, there's a mistake that they put in the King James Bible, I think it's Hebrews 8 and 12, somewhere in there. Well, they, they mistakenly put Jesus in referencing to Joshua in the Old Testament mm -hmm. because it's the same name. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, so so this, so it's just the same name. Yeshua uh, stood up in verse 2, and his brethren, who else stood up? Zerubbabel and his brethren. <laughs> what did they build first in verse 2? Altar. Altar. Altar of God. To do what? <laughs> Offer burnt offerings as it, is, as it is written where? So the altar was for worship. That was the first order of business. 
when they got back to their land, mm -hmm. the first order of business, we got to worship our God, right? Yeah, sure. See, their slavery interrupted their worship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they had to get they had to get back. They, they were back in their land, and the Bible actually said when they got settled, mm -hmm. when they settled, they they built that altar. Right, we got to have this. We got yeah, to have this. Right? Yeah, yeah. We're back home. We can't depend on them to do it. We got to do it. So we, they built their altar, right? Mm -hmm. That was the first order of business. Mm -hmm. uh, so if nothing else, the first order of business was to build an altar. Mm -hmm. Verse four. They also kept what? Feast, Feast, of Feast, of Feast of Tabernacles. This was all in recentering their Hebrew culture that God gave them. Yes. They had to recenter, right? Because mm -hmm. they had been, you know. They were taken into a strange land and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So they kept the Feast of Tabernacles. And, and this, this is one thing about feasts. I don't want to take too much time. There's one thing about the feasts, all the things they did. Like I always say, God gave Israel the law. Mm -hmm. He didn't give the law to the Gentiles. He gave the law to Israel. Mm -hmm. And the law, God gave, the law made them holy. Mm -hmm. This is where we get the first sign of First word, first time you see holy is a reference to them keeping the law. It's our holy law. <laughs> so when they kept the law, that distinguished them from the other people. Yes. Separated themselves. Yes. They separated themselves by doing what God yes. told them to do. Mm -hmm. They separated them from other people. This yes. was the law, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm. So, so, so when they did what God told them to do, that was the law, but, but that was also their culture. Yes. The law was their culture. Mm -hmm. It gave them an identity. It was who they were. Right? We are God's people. We do what God said. We do things that our God tells us to. We don't do what the Egyptian God tells us to do. We don't do what, you know, so when people see us doing what our God tells us to do, they know that we are God's children. Mm -hmm. Amen. And if somebody was a descendant of Abraham and they wasn't doing what God told them to do, they would be put out from being God's yes. child. Because that mother was saying, yes. God would deal with one person, not because he hated that person, but because he loved the people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay. So, so they, they kept the Feast of Tabernacles. They were recentering mm -hmm. their Hebrew culture that God gave them. Mm -hmm. Chapter 3, verse 6 says they offered, they offered burnt sacrifices, uh, but what was not laid? Chapter 3, verse 6. The foundation of the temple of the Lord was not laid. So they had the altar, but the foundation was not laid. They had to do this. It didn't depend on that even though the people took them away, caused the problem, they couldn't depend on them to fix the problem. Amen. They had to lay it. Yes. Chapter 3, verse 10. We're skipping around. We've got to get, get our lesson. <laughs> they laid what first? Foundation. Foundation. Foundation of the temple of the Lord. Mm -hmm. They sang and worshiped God because the foundation was laid. Chapter 3, verse 12. Many were joyful, but the ancient or the older did what when they saw it? Yes. They wept. Mm -hmm. How? Loud with a loud voice. They, they wept because they had seen what? The former, the first temple. Yeah. All right. We're going we're gonna to move on. Chapter 4, verse 1, or verse 1 and 2. The adversaries or enemies of Judah, what did they, they, they came to the Zerubbabel and asked to do what? Dad talked about this. Enemies of Judah, which was Benjamin and Judah, wanted to do what? They wanted, yes. to, they wanted to help. Yes. Mm. These were the adversaries yes. wanting to come help. Yes. That should, that raised an eyebrow just <laughs> out the gate, right? Amen. Amen. Yeah, you, yeah, you want to help me build a temple that you don't like. Chapter 4, verse 3 says, Zerubbabel and Yeshua and the rest of the fathers, let them help. No. No, no they said in verse 3, you have what? Nothing, nothing to do. Nothing to do 
nothing to do with us to what? Okay, okay, three. Then verse four and five says the people of the land all of a sudden did what? The hand of the people of Judah. They troubled them in building, right? Yeah. All of a sudden. Verse 5 says this interrupted the building of the temple yes. from the days of Cyrus to the to, to the reign of Darius. Uh, verse 6, it is written that somebody wrote a letter to King Ahasuerus at the beginning of his reign. They wrote, they wrote about uh, a what against Judah? Accusation. An accusation. What, 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 so what was that letter about? Somebody tell me what that letter was about. They were trying to, they were trying to get a letter to for, to, to help them to continue to, to continue building. No. no. They said that thy servants did to men on the side of the river at such time as something. They basically wanted to tell the king that they're not supposed to be doing this, right? That right. that's basically what they wanted to do. They they wanted to. They 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 Same. tried to resist him in building, but then they tried to go to the authority mm -hmm. <laughs> and get him to stop it. Mm -hmm. For what reason? So verse twenty one says this letter caused the king to give a commandment for Judah to do what? To cease and stop building, right? No more right along. Mm -hmm. Verse five, chapter five. <laughs> then they started building again yeah. with the prophecy of who? Chapter 5, verse 1. With the prophets of Haggai and Zechariah. When you read those, I, mean, you, I did a lot of reading on this. When you read those, those books, yes. Haggai was a book just about this situation here. Yes. He was he was encouraging them about building this temple. Yes. The whole book of Haggai is just about encouraging Judah to build this temple. And Zechariah mm -hmm. is, 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 is uh, basically giving them the... Uh, the instructions of how they were to act, the yeah. things that they were to do, mm -hmm. the benefits they were going to get as a people. So mm -hmm. they uh, like tag teamed and encouraging them, mm -hmm. encouraging them yes. to, to, to go ahead and do what God told them mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. uh, chapter 5, verse 3 says, Another man, Tatanai, asked them, Who what? Who? Who commanded you to, to build this house? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now they had started building. They, they got back from the captivity, right? They got back from captivity mm -hmm. and they're building, they're, they're recentering, they're, they're getting back, they're trying to get their lives back together. Yeah. The, the temple, Jerusalem was tore down. Mm -hmm. It was tore down. The temple yeah. was gone, the house of worship was gone. So Judah is back there, and they know what they got to do. They got to build this temple. Mm -hmm. So they started building. Somebody asked him, who commanded you to build this house? Mm -hmm. So they wrote a letter. They wrote another letter to a king. Uh, we're going we're gonna to skip, because time is getting short. We're going to skip on down to the lesson. But, you know, we know the story. We read those who studied the book know that they wrote a letter. King did a search, yes. and that search said, "Was they supposed to be building?" Those who study, no. the, that, that, that search from King Darius, he did a search. Mm -hmm. He did a search from the royal called yes. the scrolls. He did a search back to Cyrus, right? And he found out that Cyrus, did Cyrus give him authority to build? Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 So Darius wrote a decree that not only was they to let them build, yeah, they better help them. They was to help them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they was to pay for it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Since wow. you wrote this letter to me, wow. we're gonna pay for everything. Right. We're not, and don't hinder them at all. Right? Wow. Man, good <laughs> God. <Wow. laughs> Turn that thing out. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're we gonna get to our lesson now. So chapter 6, verse 13. Amen. I kind of jumped ahead a little bit, I think. <laughs> but so it says, the governor, the, the governor who this this Tad and I, the one who sent that letter, uh, 
he, he did those things speedily. Verse 14, so who built it? Who did verse 14 say build it? The elders, the, elders of the, the elders of the Jews. And I always make it clear that word Jew meant Judea. You're talking about the southern kingdom of Israel. Mm -hmm. The word Jew is not an original script. The, the, the word should have been Judeans or Judaeans. Mm -hmm. uh, the, but it's talking about the people who live in the southern kingdom of mm -hmm. Israel. Mm -hmm. They, they, they were called Judeans or Judites. So the elders of the Judites built it, uh, and they prospered through who? The prophet Simon, Haggai, and the prophet Zechariah, Zach Zach the son of Edo. It was always genealogy. It was always the son of somebody. Did they finish it? Yes. They finished it. <laughs> they finished it uh, in what what year? In the in the third day of the month of verse fifteen. Darius the king, the sixth year. A Dar in the sixth year of the reign of Darius, Darius the king. They started that they got back to build, building in the second year. <laughs> so and and the, and the Bible says in verse sixteen. It says, uh, and the children of Israel and the priests and the Levites, uh, they kept what? The dedication of this house of God with joy. They kept it with an attitude? With joy. With joy. Like I said, this was a recentering, right? This was coming back to us. This is what we are God's people. Yes. Right, we were they, they were not Babylonians. I always make it clear when the children of Israel went to slavery in Egypt, mm -hmm. when they got out, they didn't think they were Egyptians. Mm -hmm. They knew who they were before they went in. Right. So when they came when they got back to Jerusalem, mm -hmm. they had to get back to who they what we what we are called to do. We're called to be a light to the Gentiles. This is yeah. our job, mm -hmm. right? We're called to be a light to the world. Mm -hmm. right. We got to be they had to be recentered, right? Mm -hmm. yes. So they got back in, they kept the dedication. <clears throat> they kept the dedication of this house with joy. Yes. Uh, verse 17 talks about how many bullocks they offered, how many rams, and, and all of that. Verse 18, it says, some, who, who was set in their divisions? The priests, the priests and, the and the Levites. For what? For the service. Of God, you know, the Levites did the service in the temple. They were the ones who worked in the temple, right? This was on the, this was on Shabbat or the Sabbath, right? Nobody else is supposed to work except for the priest in the temple. So that, that so so they did that. They they they, uh, they were set in their divisions in their in their in their, in their posts, the priests and the Levites in their courses for the service of God, which is at Jerusalem, as it is written where. In the book of Moses, that they had a law, they had a structure. The Bible, Bible says that all things be done decent and in order. I always say it. There's no rules. There's chaos. Amen. So God had a book called the law. We call it the law, right? And this was what He expected His people to do. So everybody would be on the same page when it comes to representing God, right? So God said, "My people are going to represent me like this." Everybody ain't going to be able to represent God in their own way. So they had to have God. I'm giving you the context of the Old Testament. We're in the New Testament, but we have to understand the Old Testament, right? Yes. Yeah. So, so God God gave them the law, and this was how he was going. This is how the people were going to represent him. Yes. It's going to look like this. Yes. This was the purpose for the law, right? Mm -hmm. So, so uh, verse 19 says, and the children of the captivity, what did they keep? Passover. Get the Passover uh, on the 14th day of the month. Mm -hmm. Who was purified together? The the they just came back from Babylon. They just came back from captivity. Mm -hmm. So they had to be purified. Everybody had to be purified, right? Amen. They had to be purified all over again. So the priests and the Levites, because see, actually, when they kept the Passover, originally, 
it was done to the priests and the Levites didn't didn't do that. It was it by the family. <coughs> Remember, each family, bless you, put blood on the doorpost. Each family did that. Yes. But now since everybody's coming back from captivity, everybody is polluted. But the priests Amen. did that, right? Amen. All right. <coughs> Uh, so the priests and the Levites were purified together. All of them were pure. Uh, they killed the Passover. Mm -hmm. They killed the Passover for who? Uh, sure. Who killed the Passover? <coughs> priests and the Levites. They killed the Passover for all the children of the captivity. Mm -hmm. And this is reminding me of Jesus being our high priest right now. Right? He's, he's standing in the gap for us. Right? He's the only one who can do that. He's the only one with no sin, who, whose blood was pure enough to cleanse us. Amen. Amen. All right. So, so the priest killed the Passover. Jesus is our Passover, right? It's the priest killed the Passover for all the children of the captivity and for their brethren, uh, the priest himself. Verse 21. says, and the children of Israel, which will come again out of captivity, that I explain to you that all, everybody didn't go into captivity. Right? As in 2 Kings, I think, said that uh, they all, all, all Nebuchadnezzar <coughs> was the mighty, the noble. Yes. The Bible says he left the land yes. in Jerusalem. We didn't take everybody. So it says, the children of Israel, which will come again out of captivity, uh, <clears throat> they all did what at the very end? They separated themselves. And they did what? The last two words of that verse. They did eat. They ate the Passover, right? Verse 22. And they they kept what? Peace of unleavened bread. bread. This was their culture. This is so this was their culture. This was their identity. They were God's people. This reminded them of who they were when they do things. You know, like we take the communion, right? Jesus said, do this, why? Remembrance of me. When you do things as a people, it makes us remember as a people. So traditions aren't bad in themselves, right? Traditions in themselves, we have a lot of traditions that are good. Uh -huh. Right? Just make sure that they're not the, they're, they're, they're not going against the traditions of God. Amen. Right? Amen. But we're just doing things like that old end of the ham. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're just doing things, you know, because they've always been done. And, and that's not always bad in, in itself. Just understand what why? you're doing. Why you're doing it. And why you're doing it. Right. Just understand why you're doing it. At my age, I'm telling you, I've got to be a fish. I'm about to fish. I done wasted enough time in my life. I'm serious. I done wasted enough time. I'm about to fish. That's good. Amen. So, so they kept the feast of unleavened bread for seven days with joy. And and turned the heart of me. King of Assyria, where? Unto them. To do what? Strength in the hands in, in the work of the house of God. God of Israel. Strength is another king. The Bible says the, 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 the heart of the king is where? In the hands of the Lord. He turns it whithersoever he will. Amen. So we just do what God told us to do. Amen. Don't be intimidated by the enemy. People, people don't, I'm trying to say this in the best way possible, I guess there's no easy way. People don't have to like you. You know, we want, we want to be loved, we want to love people, but I'm just saying, many times, they, did they like Jesus? When they, when they put Jesus on the cross, did they like him? No. Did they like Paul when they was trying to, did they like Stephen? No, not a lot at all. No. At all, no. 
We operate in love, right? Yes. We operate in love. We have to make, the Bible says, examine ourselves to see that we are in. Yes. We all think we're, we all think we're in love. Right? We all, every last, the Bible says every man is right in his own life. We all think we are in the faith. Yes. The Bible says to examine ourselves yes. to see whether we are in the faith. Yes. Right? So everybody don't have to like you for you to be in God's will. But we have to make sure we're walking in love, right? Yes. But we, the point is to do what God told you to do. It's about the people, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Bible says, uh, love your neighbor as yourself. Yes. Jesus said, no greater love has a man than he lay down his life for himself. For his friend. For his friend. <laughs> for his friend. But you have to love yourself first. And I've been making this statement. I've been making this statement quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And it's not selfish. It's not selfish. You know, we're not to be selfish. But love your neighbor as yourself. Usually, the culture makes you love yourself. The culture is the co people is how you love you. People love you. Yeah. That's that's how, that's the importance of a culture. I got to stop. But the, that's the importance of a culture. It's just so watered down now. And we we try to make we try to make this culture fit the yeah. Bible. Grandma always said, don't bring the word down to us. We come up to the word. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So this culture, don't match line for line with the Bible. They just don't. So, mm -hmm. you know, I want to know what the Bible says. Right? Yeah. The old saints would say, the Bible is right. Somebody else. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I trust this right here with my life. Yeah. 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 All right. Just about how you were saying or, or how the altar is, as soon as Noah got on land, he built an altar immediately. And it's such a deep respect is what it is to mm -hmm. who has protected you. You know, so like you said earlier, it's culture yeah. that they did that. They did it willingly. They didn't just say, oh, what are we going to go do now? They knew what to do. The same was uh, when Sam Ballard, mother, was saying people were teasing people about building at that time to distract them and to just encouragement is always a factor whenever you're right. trying to serve the Lord. And Sam Ballard then were coming around saying they wanted to be friends. So these were kind of simple, similar stories. Mm -hmm. It's how we're going to experience the same spirit no matter how long you've been saved, you're still going to come back. The devil going to try your faith to see if you really believe what you're doing. That's all I want. Amen. That's, Amen. that's so true. And that's, that's the enemy's job. Mm -hmm. And his job is not to pat us on our back. Stab us in the back. Yeah. <laughs> the thief comes but to steal, steal, destroy. So I come that you might have life. Life more fun. So I'm just reading through this story and I was just so encouraged because God kept telling them, I am with you. Woo! He kept saying that through, through this lesson. God kept telling them, it may have been in uh, uh, Zechariah when God was He kept saying, I am with you. Yes. And that's what we have to know is God is with you. Yes. As you go through, as we go through, what God told us to do, just remember, God is with you. Yes. Father God, we thank you for your spirit, Father. We thank you for encouraging, encouraging godly leaders to do things yes. God's way, setting a good example. Not being stumbling blocks to the people, God. But thank you for what you do by your spirit in our lives. Help us, God. Help us, God. To, to represent you the way you should be represented. We thank you, Father. We're constantly praying for the sick and the shuttering. We thank you, Father, for, for, for the bodies of the people lining up with your word that said yes. by Jesus and stripes, we are healed. Yes. We thank you for, for, for the bodies of your people yes. lining us by Jesus. Father, we thank you for the word that's coming forth. We thank you for what you're doing by your spirit in our lives, Father. We thank you for everything. In Jesus' name, Jesus. Amen. Amen.